वेलकम बैक फ्रेंड्स आई एम योर फ्रेंड दुर्गा पाठक एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द डिज़ाइन कंसिडरेशन फॉर अ हाईली अवेलेबल फेल ओवर क्लस्टरिंग इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द बेसिक्स ऑफ फेल ओवर क्लस्टरिंग इन दिस डायग्राम यू कैन सी आवर सर्वर इज इन द मिडिल वी हैव आवर स्टोरेज हेयर पावर सप्लाई ऑन द टॉप एंड द नेटवर्किंग पीस ऑन द लेफ्ट we have connectivity with the storage and let us say this is a fiber channel connectivity fiber channel and this connectivity is facilitated through hba card that is installed in our server as we can see this is a single point of failure for our storage and any loss in the connectivity of storage network or any fault on the hba card will bring our storage in a disconnected mode and we will lose access to our data and the entire application will go down thus let's connect a second hba card to our storage now we have two paths connecting our server to the storage but these are still not redundant and we should make sure both these connections are going through different storage networks so that in case of any disconnection issue from the storage network side or any failure on the hba card we still have some path available for our storage and this way we have a highly available connectivity with our storage device in case our storage is not using fiber channel and we are using fiber channel over ethernet or iSCSI the hba cards will be replaced by gigabit network adapters and the policy remains same now let's talk about the power supply nowadays almost all the latest servers come with two power supply units unknowingly some of the system administrators forget to connect both power supply unit cables on two different power sources like two different output points of ups devices and unknowingly they connect the same ups device which is incorrect we should always connect both power supply units on two different ups devices so that anything wrong with the ups device we still have power to our servers and having two power supply units gives us the redundancy in case of fault on a pow single power supply unit now let's talk about the networking piece it is always advisable to have at least two nic cards for our production network and they should be connected through nic teaming so that in case of any issues from the networking side or from the hardware perspective on the nic cards we still have access to our applications and the business users are able to access their data after this it is always recommended to have a third nic card that should facilitate the backup of the server because the backups always consume very high iops and at times they throttle down the production network having a dedicated backup network card gives us the flexibility to run the backup at any time and any duration after this let's talk about the heart beating part and i would recommend to have a fourth nic card on our server which should be dedicated for the internal heart beating this would be the network our server will talk to the secondary server in our failover clustering having the internal heart beating network and backup network on the same nic card usually ends up in situations wherein both servers stop talking to each other because the net backup is happening so having a dedicated network card for internal heart beating is the best solution so far this looks like this is a perfect solution for a highly available failover clustering but wait can we still see if there is a single point of failure in this entire picture yes you guessed it right the storage is still a single point of failure and now let's have a second storage device in place we should always think from this perspective as any single point of failure should not be in our design and this storage piece is now looks perfect now this storage piece looks perfect because now it's replicating to a secondary storage device and in case of any failure on the storage front we still have access to our data through the 
replication partner of the storage device.